This is Physics 101, also known as Lecture Hall 6. When you enter the lecture hall and you're getting ready to set up your presentations, go ahead over to the controller on the top panel here. Um, press and hold the Display On button for about two seconds, release, and what will happen at that time is it will start blinking, and about 30 to 60 seconds later, you'll see that the projector will start shining out of the booth in the back. After the blinking is done and after the projector is shining, it should default to the PC input so that you'd be ready to go if you're using that. Um, if you're using a laptop, VCR, a document camera, Blu-ray, or bringing in a digital source that connects to the HDMI cable, you would press the button at that time. That would be after the display um, button has stopped blinking. To hook up any of your devices, such as laptops that have either analog or digital inputs, go over to the left hand side here and you'll see the cable cubby. It has power, it has a VGA connector, it has the HDMI connector, and it also has a mini for audio. Directly above it, you will find the microphone, and this microphone can be used at any time in the room, whether you have the projector on or off, and the volume control for that microphone is the up and down right here. As I increase the volume, you'll see it blink green. And that will turn it up. And as I press it down, it blinks yellow. And then this volume control here is not for the microphone. This is for any of what we call program sources. So as you increase it, the LEDs go up. And as you decrease the volume, it goes down. That's controlling audio out of the DVD, the VCR, the computer, um, or any of your sources that you attach here. Um, keep in mind when you're using computers that you'll want to also adjust the volume that's on your device. And just taking a quick look below here, you'll find the um, Blu-ray player right here. And there's a volume, there's a power button just on the far left here. And there's the VCR. And you don't really need to worry about this device that's down below here. Over on the far right, you'll find the PC with front mounted USB ports, as well as a DVD drive up top. And on the left hand side is document camera. And this can take the place of the traditional transparency projector. You can put anything you want down here. Um, first just make sure the power button is on and that you choose document camera over here. And now what you put down on the stage area down here can also be shown up on the screen here. I have another um, video that describes this in a little bit more detail but Long story short, you have a little remote over here that you can zoom in and zoom out with, as well as lighten and darken. And I'll do that up top here so you can see what's happening. And you can see that you can zoom in quite close and zoom out and zoom all the way out. You can use the surface below here. This is a marker board surface, so go ahead and use marker board markers on it. And you could also just put print materials, three-dimensional objects. It's full motion. You're not going to see any, any lag. And you can also turn the camera towards the area where the students are sitting if you want to. It has other features, but... Um, you know, see me if you want to take advantage of more of the advanced features to this device. When you're done in this room, if you don't mind, please just press and hold the display off button for a few seconds and release, and that will turn the projector off. Bulbs are very expensive, about $400 a piece, so we appreciate your helping us out on that. Thank you.